Honestly, I'm not sure how the shaving cream companies make any money off that stuff. I was uh, thinking about this as I was shaving this morning and noticed that my can of shaving cream is starting to rust. And the shaving cream itself doesn't seem to be any uh, anywhere close to running out. So, yeah, so, you know, you go to the store and, uh, hey, I need some shaving cream. Oh, sure, this is like $2. Great, great. How long is this going to last? I don't know, like five, six years. Meanwhile, I spend a uh, buck twenty-nine on a muffin, and it doesn't even last me the whole way home. So today, you might see me kind of looking around a little bit more often. Um, I'm actually going to my former office uh, to say hi to some people and see how everybody's doing. Um, I worked for claims. Before I started my own agency, I was an adjuster. Um, it's kind of funny uh, where I where I live. Uh, it's 13 miles away from the claims office, but I live on the very very edge of Houston, and the office is more to the center of Houston. And coming home at five o'clock, it would normally take me a full hour uh, to get home for 13 miles. Where I live now. I am currently 15 miles from my agency, but it's outside of Houston. And it takes me a flat 30 minutes. Which kind of made me, makes me wonder why I didn't do this a lot sooner. It's a little bit of an overcast day. Um, woke up this morning and it was raining very hard, which had an additional degree of worry for me because the other day we discovered that the, uh, the attic has a leak. Um, it's not on the roof itself, our roof is fairly new, but it's on one of the vent, uh, uh, the uh, exhaust, specifically the exhaust for the heater um, going out. So I know that this is going to be an easy fix. But it's not something I could do myself. First of all, because I am incompetent in home improvement. So I was serious, when we moved in, uh, there was a little bit of a separation in the drywall in one of our corners in the living room. And um, instead of fixing it, because the, the drywall was, actually looked fine, except for that corner. So instead of fixing it, what uh, my contractor suggested is that I get just one of those, uh, you know, corner wood, long wood pieces and, you know, just stick it there. Um, which actually looks really nice because our living room is uh, uh, mostly wood, um, a lot of a wood theme there. And so it I was like, yeah, that's a great idea because it will look nice and there's no problem there. Um, I measured that stupid piece of wood three times before I cut it. And it still came out about that much short. So I just put that part at the bottom and we have a flower in front of it anyway. Um, but that's the sort of thing that happens when I try to fix things. I've gotten better over the last, you know, four years, however long we've had the house. I've gotten better at that. Um, I've actually done several repairs at the house that are, that are, are good. Uh, it took me a long time, but they were good at the end. However, I am scared of heights. I'm not getting on that roof. And um, I don't have a ladder long enough to get on the roof anyway. It's the second floor roof. And so, despite the fact that this is probably going to be a very easy fix, I had to call somebody to, to help with it. Uh, and he's coming today. So, of course, I wake up this morning and it's pouring. I'm like, great. The one day before we fix the roof, it starts pouring. But at the end of the day, you know, no damage was done from this morning. They'll get it fixed today. Everything will be fine. Now, one thing I am going to be working on is 
fixing the washing machine. Now our uh, our dishwasher went out, and we're in the process of buying a new dishwasher. And while we're in that process, our washing machine goes out, which is more important than the dishwasher. Um, but I'm going to take a swing at fixing that this afternoon, hopefully, and uh, we'll see how that works out. Really appreciate y'all watching. Um, subscribe uh, if you would. We are. Um, I'm going to start trying to put up some some music, uh, uh, some original tunes, as well as some, um, hopefully some Christmas carols before Christmas is over, because I really like them. Um, and uh, so keep an eye on the channel, and we will talk with you later.